Inhabitants of the arid and semi-arid lands of Kenya suffer from the ever-increasing array of both natural and man-made shocks that severely affect their productive and sustainable livelihoods that relegates a majority of the population to a state of hopelessness. Assholes of Kenya make about 84% of Kenya's land surface. They support about uh, 8 million Kenyans, 50% of the livestock and 65% of the wildlife population is found in these areas. But also in the assholes have uh, some of the poorest segments of uh, the population and they are trapped in, uh, in an environment which is uh, plagued by drought and other hostile features. With increasing frequency of drought, floods and climatic related disease epidemics, these areas are usually coupled with unfavorable socio-economic trends. Underdeveloped infrastructure highlights the predicament facing Kenya's asal populations and institutions concerned with their welfare for development. However, the asal inhabitants' endurances have not gone unnoticed. The government of Kenya, under the Ministry of Livestock Development, has been developing the capacity of the asal communities to prioritize their needs and manage their own development as well as mitigate against the effects of adverse weather through broadening of their livelihoods with funding from the African Development Fund. The government of Kenya in partnership with the African Development Bank uh, prizes some strategies to develop the assets in line with government uh, uh, development strategies and also with the bank's priority the strategy on poverty reduction. So the project, uh, the asset based Livestock and Rural Livelihood Support Project, is anchored on the strategies of both the government and uh, of the bank. Through arid and semi-arid lands-based Livestock and Rural Livelihood Project, significant capacity building of community groups have developed mechanisms to cope with key livelihood issues. <laughs> To improve community livelihoods, drought management and food security initiatives in these ASAL areas, Alpro project focused on supporting community-based demand-driven initiatives. CBDDI uh, within uh, the Alpro uh, project design uh, were designed to take over 70% of the total resources uh, of the project. And therefore, it's a major, major component within Alpro. Uh, it was a major component within Alpro implementation. The design of CBDDI was such a that Alpro being a rural livelihood support project, uh, the design of this project foresaw so that there could be uh, uh, community priority needs that may not be necessarily livestock. And therefore, because they are looking at rural livelihoods, their own livelihoods, if they were to suggest something that is not within livestock, then the project was supported to enhance their livelihood. Beneficiaries under the community-based demand-driven initiatives received the appropriate organizational, managerial and enterprise skills for them to benefit fully on their funded projects. For example, your projects on water uh, points development. Uh, this is both shallow wells and also water pumps. We have projects on uh, livestock marketing activities. We have supported uh, 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 groups, for example, in, in marketing of small stock, especially women groups, marketing of camels, uh, marketing of uh, bulls. We have also supported uh, steer fattening, uh, buying, fattening and selling. We have supported hay bulking. Uh, within southern communities, especially in the southern rangeland, uh, Kajiado and Narok. We have also supported uh, uh, beekeeping activities uh, that includes production uh, of 
value addition in terms of packaging and even uh, selling. From these milestones on empowering communities through community-based demand-driven initiatives, beneficiaries have bounced back to the realization that their livelihoods depend on their economic and social innovations.